Hello, Earth Angels. Welcome to your uh, snow day edition of What's New for You in Tarot. <laughs> uh, just happy Thursday. Just doing a Thursday reading. We had a bit of a spring storm here in the front range of the Rocky Mountains and uh, kind of shut us down. So figured it's a good day to break out the old tarot and oracle cards and do a reading for y'all. Couldn't get into work, so technically supposed to work from home. This is my preferred work, so this is the work I'm gonna do. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, please be with us now. Please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our earth angels. These are our light workers, people who identify as being spiritually different. Maybe they feel like they have a purpose and they're still trying to figure out what that is. Um, there's something more to this, even though, in truth, just being is usually all that has to happen. Spirit, what do we have for our Earth Angels? What's going on? What's the energy? Let's get an overall theme for them. I'm going to pull from the Sacred Rebels Oracle to get an overall theme energy for you, and then we'll... Fill it in with some tarot. See what we get. What's coming up? What's good? For our Earth Angel Collective Spirit, talk to me. Talk to us. Be kind. Be polite. Speak in truth or get out. That's how I do it. Speak in truth or get out. It's easy. Either way is fine with me. What do we have, Spirit? What's the overall energy for our Earth Angels? It's kind of interesting because I did say speak the truth or get out. Listening for truth. She's holding that conch shell up to her ear. Listening to the world, to the cosmos for truth. This is a card about turning inward and listening, hearing what the universe, the world, consciousness has to say. Pretty powerful card. All of the cards from the Sacred Rebel deck are considered to be pretty powerful cards. It's an intense, intense deck for sure. I love it. Spirit, let's have a little reading around this. What are we talking about for our earth angels here? What do we got? Listening for truth. You know, the entire world is really just an expression of the divine. So you can, if you're listening, you can get messages from anything. Now, the difference between someone who's getting messages from anything and someone who's schizophrenic is, are these messages to you, about you? Um, and are, is the world plotting against you? If the case is that the world's plotting against you, then you may need to see a psychiatrist because you may actually be suffering from schizophrenia. Um, but if you're listening for messages about the world around you, You'll hear them. And then you'll see things that start to come to fruition. That's quite different. It's a lot different, actually. Spirit, what do we have for our Earth Angels? For what's going on now? What's happening now? We have Listening for the Truth, card 36. That reduces to a 9 if you're into numerology. That's a completion number. Um, could be opening up your psychic abilities, your gifts, if you will, your setis. Um, these things will trap you in the illusion more than anything else. Just be careful with them. Be careful how much you tap in or put power or importance into them. The goal is liberation, or so they say. 
I think the goal is to enjoy life, get the most out of it that we can. Spirit, what's the, uh, what's going on, Fire Earth Angel? Let's do a, um, let's do a full Celtic cross. What the heck? I have the space and time to do it. Let's do it. Feels good, feels right. We have a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, in the unseen. So this is around you, not seen by you. Uh, there's a slow, steady, reliable, dependable energy. Um, in the center of the spread, we have the Hermit. More Virgo energy. So you may have a Virgo involved in this. You may be a Virgo. I don't know. But the hermit is turning inward to find the truth. Listening for the truth. Yeah. Quieting the mind. Pulling away from society, the trimmings and the trappings of the world. And listening for truth. The crossing energy to this is love. Two of cups. This could be friendship. This could be romance. But in the crossing energy, you may have a new boo or there's a romantic inclination that's pulling you away from truly listening to your heart. Uh, crowning the situation, so in the headspace, is a king of pentacles. There's the Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, in their power. And at the root of the situation, it's the magician. The foundation is you're manifesting your world. You're manifesting your reality. In the recent past, you have a queen of wands. This is true witch energy. She's passionate. She's beautiful. She can manifest her world. She knows how to draw it in. And in the near future, it's queen of swords. Knowledgeable, charismatic, no, I'm not gonna say charismatic. Knowledgeable, can be cutting with her words. Speaks the truth though. She can be manipulative with her words when she's in that position. She's in that position, so. Straightforward communication. That's also, it's not rude. She's not gonna communicate rudely with you. She's eloquent in her speech. How are you seeing yourself in the now moment you're seeing yourself in a five of swords, a willingness to do whatever it takes to win. It's almost a bully-like energy. The world around you is seeing you as a tower, or this is the world around you. Either way, you can say it is how the world is viewing you or how, you know, what's happening in the world around you is the tower. Something that was built on a faulty foundation that's coming to an end. Your hopes and the fears in this moment, the six of pentacles, balancing of the physical world or giving and taking with another, finding balance with that. And the likely outcome is a star, healing energy from the universe. Hope and healing. I uh, wish I hadn't just said hope because I'm not a fan of hope. I believe in faith, belief. However, hope is a loser. If I'm down to hope, I'm cashing my chips in and leaving. Um, that's just me. Anyway, so the end conclusion is healing. We started out with the hermit at the center of the spread and what the hermit is looking for is the star, is that inner light. That's the light inside the lantern of the hermit. That is actually the star in there. So the only thing crossing is sharing love with another, sharing emotional space. The need to maybe share emotional space with another 
one in truth, honesty. I know you're listening inward for the truth in a situation. You'll work through this. The outside world is seeing you as the tower and you're seeing yourself as willing to do whatever it takes to win. Well, my heavens. Spirit, what do the power animals have as advice for our earth angels today? What do our power animals have as advice for our earth angels today, Spirit? What do we have here? Well, right now, um, we have the rabbit, fertility. Your creative abilities are at their peak. Right now is a wonderful time for you to manifest and create the world that you want. Earth angels, you've been thinking about it, hemming and hawing on it. There's that truth. The truth is, make it happen. To manifest something, you have to have a clear, concise image of what you want. Speak it clearly out to the universe and act on it. I'm going to recommend speaking it to an old tree. They're connected to the mycelial network. Right to Gaia. Works for me anyway. And act. Act upon it. Make it happen. Get moving forward towards it. Show the universe that you're serious. That's what I have for you, Earth Angels. From my heart to yours, I'm sending you love and I'm sending you peace. If you got something out of the reading, drop in the comments down below. I appreciate that stuff. Um, if you liked it, likey, likey button. Um, if you're new here, you like the way I read, click subscribe. It's free. And you'll get notified when I post new stuff. Thanks for stopping by, Earth Angels. I love you.